How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be unlocking the postseason Reggie Jackson by unlocking the Halloween equipment. I bought the Halloween bat for about 400,000 stubs. I sold finest Jose Ramirez and I sold finest Christian Yelich, the ones that I was unable to, uh, well I was able to sell them. But I didn't necessarily need them for my team. Now that this tournament, I was eliminated from the tournament yesterday. I was unable to get the footage, capture the footage for uh, highlight videos for that. So I've, I'm sorry if you guys are looking for the tournament highlight video. I will link the uh, the few streams that I did yesterday. But I was going through some of the programs. I realized that I had six uh, non-sellable finest cards. I really have eight of them. But uh, I figured I would lock in six of them and unlock this finest pack so I'll go ahead and open that I have a couple souvenir packs and uh, some some stuff so after buying uh, this all the souvenir or all the equipment items I needed for that Reggie Jackson I had about 30k left over I want to make his debut I want to go ahead and play with them in this in this next ranked seasons game but before I get into it let me go ahead and open this finest player and I did get a diamond wow that's the second one I pulled, Edwin Diaz. Okay, so one I already have. I'll go ahead and sell that one. I thought it might have been Christian Yelich right there. That would have been crazy. Just sell Christian Yelich and go ahead and uh, pull him back in a, in a finest pack. So that was pretty lucky. But this is going to be the squad. Ted Williams in left, Griffey in center, Reggie Jackson in right field. It's not the best quality outfield when it comes to fielding, but definitely amazing bats. So we're going to have Griffey, Chipper, Reggie, Babe Ruth, Pablo Sanchez, Ted Williams, Lindor, and then Mike Piazza. So that's going to be what the, the starting lineup is. And I did move some guys around. I brought back Paulo Sanchez because I did get rid of Ramirez. But so some something happened. I'm not quite sure what happened, but the pregame loading screen did not wasn't included in this game clip. But this opponent definitely had a good team. He had uh, what was it? His creative player Griffey, and then Pools. His creative player led off the game with a home run. And for whatever reason, I didn't quite I wasn't able to capture that. But uh, now I'm trying to respond in in the bottom half of the inning. I'm trying to look to uh, at least tie up the game. I got a base hit there with uh, with Chipper Jones. Now it's a 3-2 count with Reggie Jackson on his debut. And that was a good pitch. I wasn't sure if that was going to be a strike. It probably would have been strike three. I had to swing at it. And uh, I was I was a little bit late, but he does go ahead and walk Reggie Jackson there. Brings up Babe Ruth. And uh, one out in the inning. I'm looking for a pitch over the middle of the plate. And he throws a sinker. Babe Ruth hits a home run. Three-run homer. And that's going to put us up. I mean, one swing of bat, we take the lead. That, that takes advantage of that walk. I was uh, looking for some pitches to hit with Reggie, but at the same time, he does have smaller PCI. I need to square up a pitch over the middle part of the zone, and I was trying to make a good debut for you, but unfortunately, I drew a, a four-pitch walk, but I was able to capitalize there on the Ruth homer, so it did work out there. The opponent, is uh, he's responding with the solo shot from Piazza. I know this guy's a good player. I think I might have played him once before, but uh, yeah, he definitely has a good team as well. He had George Brett at shortstop, which is the one guy that kind of surprised me everywhere else. It was. It seemed like it was a normal team. He had Yelich, finest Yelich in center. He had uh, Jose Ramirez. I'm pretty sure he had some guys. So here's his creative player up once again. His creative player is ripping a base hit up the middle. But he has 91 speed, so that's good speed from his creative player there. I'm just looking to uh, keep the guy off the bases here because it's, he was able to steal. And then I had a 3-2 count. I went with the fastball up and in to Ken Griffey Jr. there, and luckily he didn't swing. He probably would have hit that out and take the lead if he did swing at it. But I uh, froze him there. I, on this one, I don't know why he's trying to steal third. On a 1-2 count, he tries to steal third with his creative player and gets thrown out. But now we have Reggie Jackson up again. Once again, later on in the game, on a 3-2 count, draw another walk. Brings up Babe Ruth. That was the second walk I drew in a row. Chipper Jones drew a walk. Reggie drew a walk. This guy was just... He was throwing me a lot of balls. He had At one point, he had more balls than strikes in this game. And I was just trying to work the pitcher. I mean, 39 pitches in the third inning. But everything I've swung at in the strike zone, I've hit. But not, I mean, not necessarily hit it well. But here is, he made a, an interesting play there in center field with Yelich. His, he got an animation, though, so he did catch it. But uh, brings up Pablo Sanchez, and I, I messed up. I have Raul Mondesi's uh, swing as my creative player swing right now. Pablo Sanchez, I really do like that swing, that swing type, because he gets out of the box quickly. It's short like Ted Williams' swing, who's up right now. And I ground out to second base. So I, I mean, I, I didn't really capitalize off two walks right there. I did have a shot, and if I lose this game, that's a situation where I could look back and say, well, I had a couple opportunities in certain innings. And that's that's what happens. I mean, in shorter in shorter games, you cannot afford to uh, you can't afford to not take advantage of situations like that. You have to take advantage. And here, Reggie Jackson is up again. A fastball or a sinker up and inside. I was just late on it, but that's he hit a no doubter. He's flipping the bat. He stared at it. That, I thought that was amazing. 
that's where, where the thumbnail came in. But uh, I had to take a screenshot of that Reggie Jackson no-doubter because I think it's the best one in the game. I think it's the best one in any MLB. But Babe Ruth is running out an infield single. That brings up Pablo Sanchez. And I'm just looking to expand the inning. I mean, nobody out. It's the fifth inning. Two-run lead. No lead is safe, and especially on all-star difficulty. And uh, Pablo Sanchez is getting another infield base hit. So now we have Ted Williams up on a 1-0 count. He throws a hanging curveball. I don't know how I didn't hit that one out. I, I missed it, but I, at the same time, I hit it well enough for a base hit. So now we have bases loaded. That's going to bring up uh, Lindor with still nobody out. 73 pitches in the fifth inning. You guys can tell that I was starting to take more pitches and be more selective at the plate. And uh, he throws another hanging curveball. Lindor is sending one out on a grand slam there. I think that was hit like 460 feet. The one with Reggie was only hit 391 in just in comparison. But that was definitely different different pitches there. Uh, even though it was a hanging curveball, Lindor's got Lindor's went about 70 feet farther. I don't I have no idea. But we have Reggie Jackson up again in a 3-0 count. I definitely should have taken that pitch. I had a chance to break the game wide open and go up by like nine runs if I hit a, a home run in that situation. But Reggie has that 123 power. I couldn't lay off, and I, I took a uh, I took a hack 3-0 there. But that, he brought in Jose Ramirez off the bench. So that was one of his pinch hitters. He does have Griffey. He did have some good at bats in this game. But I'm up eight to two. And, uh, I mean, once I got up a few runs after the first inning, he started to swing at more pitches. The first inning, he was really patient. Here he has Chipper Jones up, who I believe was his third baseman. Because he had pools at first base. But there I was able to get Chipper Jones to pop up to Francisco Lindor there. I really like Lindor at second. Here I went to Albert Pujols off the bench. Because of uh, the variety of players that I have, I mean, I had I wasn't starting Pujols when I had Ramir, uh, Jose Ramirez in there. I had some guys that I wasn't starting that I was like, you know what, I really want to get that Reggie Jackson. So I might as well uh, sell some of the dudes that I can open up some spots on my team for. And and I mean, now I'm bringing Pujols off the bench because I could I started Chipper Jones in this one. But uh, there Pujols smacked one to, to left field. That was a no-doubter on a splitter from Rob Nen. Then Pool, I mean Pools, uh, Chipper Jones grounds one out to first base there. So 9-2, to two, and now I went to the gold Alex Wood. The only guy that was really tired on my bullpen in this one was that Immortal Goose Gossage. Other than that, I really had everyone to go. So I went to my, I mean, I pinch hit for my pitcher in like the fourth or fifth inning in this one. I, it was a closer game. I had a chance to hit a two-run shot, so I went ahead and went for it. But uh, Alex Wood to Piazza is not a good move. I could have went to a different guy, but I figured with this much of a lead, I'll try to I'll try to get the out there. I tried to press R1 with Reggie Jackson. He wasn't he wasn't feeling it. He just wanted to field the ball off the wall. At least he did that. At least he didn't jump like a like a fool and then I would have had to get it with Griffey. He might have got to been able to get the third base there or potentially even score an inside the park home run. But here I wanted to show you guys this is my creative player with a 98 arm strength. He throws out Frank Thomas from the hole there. An amazing play. I don't know if anybody else makes that play in this game. I do have a shortstop maxed out. A power balance shortstop. I believe that was the only way. No, I believe he could have went power power. But I do have power balance. He's got amazing fielding, amazing um, arm strength, and amazing power. And great speed all around. I brought Pablo Sanchez back. But there, that last at bat, Reggie Jackson was lining one out to right field. Babe Ruth sending one deep for a second home run of the game. And that's going to put us up 10-2. to and I'm just looking to, I mean, keep keep the lead going. No lead is safe. Doesn't matter. Eight runs. Doesn't matter if he has only one shot left and three outs remaining. I'm looking to to keep the, the rally going. He has uh, Mortal Goose Gossage on the mound. Mine was tired, so I wasn't going to go ahead and use him. But there he threw a change up low in the zone. I sat on it. I, I hit it. I weighed back on it. And you guys can see there from the swing, the PCI was below the zone. But my bat was right on the ball. And I, and I hit it well. But uh, Ted Williams is not doing anything in this game he's hitting into a possible double play that he beats out because he has the glitch swing where he gets out of the box he's the fastest 56 speed i've ever seen anybody else has a double play on that with 56 speed like for example stan musial hits that double play every single time but now we have lindor up at the plate and he throws a slurve low in the zone that's the pitch i'm looking for i'm looking for a fastball up and in or a slurve just anywhere low if i can drop the pci down and hit one out then that is going to be a mercy rule. He does throw the fastball up and inside. And I hit the two-run shot out with uh, with Francisco Lindor. That was his second home run of the game. Great game all around. I was really excited to use that Reggie Jackson. I, was, I really wanted to get the gameplay out because I was able to get him late last night. I wanted to get the gameplay out early this morning. It's unfortunate that I wasn't able to capture the game footage from the highlights from the uh, Field of Streams tournament yesterday that was going on. 
But uh, all in all, definitely had a lot of support over there yesterday. I want to say thank you guys for that. I want to say thank you to the Field of Streams for uh, people for putting that on. It was amazing. And I had a wonderful time playing. Even though I got eliminated in the third round by Notorious, it was still great. I will have the link to the, a couple of those games in the, in the comment section down below. I'll just title them that way. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm College Lefty. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Take it easy, everyone, and have a great day. Peace out.